this is where is that's why that's 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 why like when I when I'm speaking to someone and just when I just look at this this whole platform and this strategy alone, just Facebook ads in general, when I mm -hmm. when I when I look at this and approach this, my whole thinking process is most people when they go and spend money on advertising, they're looking for an ROI right away. Like if I spend this dollar, I better make a dollar right back. Yeah, that's how some people look at it. That way. Right? Yeah, it does not work. I used to think of it that way. Sometimes but... it does. Depend on what you're doing. Depend on your business model. Depend on your product. Depend on your service. Yes, for sure. I know many, many people, many, many people that run ads today and make money today because that's really? their model. Well, shit. That's they're 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 selling a product. They're selling a physical oh, product. Yeah, not product. like real estate. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah, you. Real estate you and I. different. Exactly. So, so yeah. my point is, is that there's some people that can run an ad today and make that money back today because of the product or service that they sell. Some yeah. of us, it's, it's more of a longer term approach. Some of us, it's like, okay, if I spend that dollar today, then I can, I can, I can, I can bet that I can bank on and I can depend on that money coming in in the end because of my sales process, right? Um, Real estate, you're a perfect example. Um, but my point is, my point is, it, there's different perspectives to look at this. So one perspective would be, okay, we spend money today. We make the money right back today because we're selling a physical product or we're selling our service and we can sell it today. Right. But a longer term, a longer approach, a longer sales cycle, which is what real estate is, a longer sales mm -hmm. cycle, the way we, the perspective that we need to be looking at this, Facebook ads specifically, is the long-term effect, the branding. You know how many people? Yes. Okay. Well, only if only a few leads came in, but two thousand people actually saw my face. Yeah. And these are people that it's live right. four miles down the street, nine miles right. down the street, a mile down the street. Mm -hmm. These people are my neighbors. Just because I didn't see it in my newsfeed, my neighbors could have. Mm -hmm. That's why there's value to that. That's why, like, I I stress on video and I stress on Facebook ads because the value. There's value on that. And that's, and that's something that can't always be calculated up front. Right. That value, there's value there. The fact that a couple thousand people saw my face. In fact, it wasn't just my face. It was a video of my face, right? Yeah. The fact that a couple thousand people saw that and they all live in my backyard, I may not be able to calculate that, but there's value to that. And that's, that's yeah. one perspective you have to have it and, and look at it that way where it's like, shit, where else would thousands of people be seeing my face in my backyard right now? Right. So it's worth it's it. like sowing seeds. It's sowing seeds. It's it's sowing seeds. You're planting a lot right now. You're dropping and sowing so many seeds in a 15 mile radius. Mm -hmm. It's not even funny. But at the same time, we're just getting started. We're just getting started. And you gotta just keep it going. You gotta keep it going. Keep it going. Like gotta keep it going. So mm -hmm. this custom audience, this this is yeah, this is this what it's all about. So hit that blue button, create custom audience. And okay. what I was trying to say, my whole point is, is that as these two perspectives, one perspective, they're, they're spending money on an ad today, they're making it right back. The other perspective and the other strategy is it's, a, it's more of the long-term view. No matter what you're doing, this is what it's all about, is your custom okay. audiences. This is what you're getting also on the back end. So not only okay. was that face or that video viewed thousands of times by thousands of people, yes, they didn't act right now. Yes, they didn't click and go opt in right now, but they saw my face. They saw my face. They saw my post. They saw my message, right? Um, right. So, so the data, what I'm also paying for is that data, which over here, I'm able to create audiences and segment these different people. That's powerful. Like there's value to that also. So again, all I'm trying to say is how I look at the money, how I look at the dollars spent, how I look mm -hmm. at the budget, where it's not just a lead that I'm looking to capture. There's more that I'm getting for that dollar. There's mm -hmm. more that I'm getting on this budget. I'm getting these custom audiences. I'm getting this data. I'm getting that branding that wouldn't have happened anywhere else. Right? Yeah. Like, so, so there's more that you're getting for your buck is what I'm trying to explain. So this right yeah. here, custom audience. Again, what it's all about, hit custom audience, hit the drop down and go to custom audience. One okay. custom audience and one super powerful custom audience is customer list. So that's, yeah. that's the email. So if I have an email of past clients, if I have an email of past oh, buyers, of past sellers, mm -hmm. yep. I have some clients, Christine, real estate clients that mm -hmm. um, have, you know, have good relationships with their escrow officers and, and their title reps and, and, their, and, and you know, the title company. I have some 
you know, some clients where they have really good relationship and, and, and these title companies will give the agent a list and give them a list of, of data, give them a list of everyone who purchased a home in this area in the past five years. Yeah. My girl would do that. We also have um, a couple of programs on our MLS, oh. but my, my, uh, my title girl, the Christine, the one, yeah. Christine, here's where the money is. If you can get that list, that is gold. A list of what? Get a list of past buyers. Get a list of buyers. Get a list of everyone who's purchased a house. Yeah, but why do I want to attack, uh, want to get with them? Here's what we bought. Here's the magic. Here's the magic. And this is the next, this is next level stuff that I haven't taught you yet, but this is where, this is where it's all, 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 all at. So everything I'm explaining, everything I'm teaching you, everything about this platform at the end of the day, at the end of the day, anyone who makes money on with Facebook ads, and I'm talking a lot of money and my definition of a lot of money is let's just call it, let's just call it, let's just call it, let's just call it six figures a month. So people that I follow and learn from and, and inspired by are online marketers. And it doesn't matter what kind of business you're, 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 you're building. It don't matter. It has nothing to do with that. The strategy mm-hmm. has everything to do with the strategy. The strategy is Facebook ads. So anyone that, 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 is, that is running Facebook ads and, 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 and is bringing in a revenue of, let's call it six figures a month, right? hundred grand a month minimum. Wow. Get there the way they anyone that could be your business, any real estate, it could be real estate. You're, you know, doing, doing deals. You're at a hundred grand a month and you run Facebook ads to capture. It could be anything, any business, but here's my point. Mm -hmm. Anyone that can, anyone that's at that level and they're running Facebook ads, they're not running. They're not just running ads. Like we are the way we're, Mm -hmm. we're doing it is beginner. So, so as I teach you from the beginning, it's all about running the conversion ad, creating the custom audience, retargeting the custom audience and gathering all this data. This is only in the beginning. This is not where your Facebook strategy or career ends. This is the beginning. It's a building block. All we're doing is building a block. It's Legos. It's freaking Jenga. Like we're literally building a block. This is block one, the beginning. When you start running a few conversion ads, you start running a few traffic ads, you get that brand awareness to a local area. You're warming up an audience in the very, very beginning. Um, And then you're creating custom audiences. The next level on top of custom audiences is where I'm saying everyone's at. So anyone that's pulling in that kind of money, six figures a month with their business and Facebook ads is, 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 is the sole reason for it. Mm -hmm. That's someone who's successful with Facebook advertising. And again, they're not just doing what we're, what, we're do, what we're doing. What they're doing is they're targeting same setup, three steps, same everything, same everything. But the targeting changes. The targeting now becomes a targeting of what Facebook calls lookalike. So what Facebook allows you to do is create a lookalike audience. So what we're building right now is we're creating custom audiences. We're creating our mm-hmm. own custom audiences. And, 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 and based on these custom audiences, links are tied to these custom audiences, right? Based on what link a person lands on, that puts them in a certain custom audience. Now, here's the deal. Here's where I'm getting at. Here's my point. And it's a long-winded explanation to my point and why a title list would be so much to, would mean so much to you because of this. As we create these custom audiences, the biggest, biggest custom audience that we're trying to create, the most important, I should say, the most important, X out of this real quick, X out of this little window, go back to the back part, this right here. One of the most, and it's one, it's not the most important, but it, 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 but it is, it is, it, it is, it's the most important. The most important custom audience that we're trying to create here at the end of the day is your seller guide leads. Sellers, yeah. That's the, that's the, that's the most important custom audience is the seller guide leads. Okay. Right. Here's the way Facebook works. Here's the way custom audience works. Once you have X amount of people that are in that audience, you can then do more things. For example, once a hundred people land in the seller guide leads audience, right? Mm-hmm. So once let's just call it six, you got six right now. Okay. Once 94 more people, once we're at a hundred once mm-hmm. Facebook tracks that 100 people have landed on a specific list, but it's really the seller guide list we're speaking of, right. then Facebook allows you 
to create what they call a lookalike audience. A lookalike audience is simply a clone of the audience that you're doing it on. So we would be cloning, we would be creating a lookalike audience around seller guide leads. From so other, other people. We're telling Facebook, hey, here's an audience of X. Here's an audience right. of seller guide leads. Now, right. what I want you to do, Facebook, what I want you to do is I want you to go find me a million more people that resemble and look just like this. They have the same buying, buying patterns. They click on the same websites. They, 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 they went through the same, um, uh, they've been on Zillow. They've been on Redfin. They've been searching for houses. Here's an audience of my seller guide leads. These are the, these are people that, 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 that do and, and act a certain way online. Facebook tracks all this. They have 10,000 data points on all of us. They know everything we're clicking on. And, right. and one huge reason why is because the pixel. When, nowadays, when you're online and you're on different websites, that website has their pixel and Facebook's right. tracking. So, yeah, yeah. You, you only have to think about something half the time and it's on face. All of a sudden, right. there it is. It's right, you. right. And, 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 right. and that's not really because of your thought, but it, it, thought, it's, 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 it's primarily because you clicked on something before. Something, so because yeah. you clicked on something and that's something was online and that's something that you clicked on had a Facebook pixel that's mm -hmm. what you're seeing in your newsfeed now because mm -hmm. that person's just retargeting you or targeting an audience that has an interest in this therefore it's you so you're seeing that ad so here's my point though once once audiences reach a certain number and it's the seller guide leads once that reaches 100 then again Facebook we can then go create a lookalike audience. And all that is, is cloning that audience. It's saying, Facebook, here's a hundred people that are in the seller guide lead audience. Go find me a million more that look just like them. Mm -hmm. and, and, and quote unquote, look just like them is very detailed. And, and, but, but, but what it really, what it really pertains to is their buy, is their, is their, is their, their, their patterns online. Mm -hmm. What they clicked on, what they purchased, their buying patterns, like their consumer behavior online is what it pertains to. So if you mm -hmm. can show me one person, like, for example, I could take Christine and I can take you to a mall. Like, let's say you and I went to lunch. Let's say you and I went to lunch and mm -hmm. I take you to lunch. We go to a mall. We go to a busy, busy shopping center. We go to a mall. I can mm -hmm. easily and vice versa you to me but let's just talk about me to you. I can easily take you, walk you around the entire mall and find somebody that maybe looks like you. And I'm mm -hmm. just talking looks, just visual looks. Now, do right. they look like your twin? No, but maybe the same age, maybe same hair color, maybe mm -hmm. same style. That's someone right. that looks like you. And if I took mm -hmm. it even deeper to a digital foot, to a, to a digital uh, 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 fingerprint, Mm -hmm. and, I, and I went more digital and then I looked online and then we, 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 we matched up the buying habits online to an individual. Yeah. That's even crazier. Yeah. So, so Facebook, that's what they allow us to do is they allow you to take that data of these hundred people and Facebook can go and find tons more that resemble them. So for mm -hmm. example, when you take a list from a title company of all these buyers that have purchased in the past five years, we upload that to Facebook as a custom audience. We then take the custom audience and because it has more than a hundred records on it, we then take that custom audience and we create a lookalike audience. And we say, Facebook, here's, here's 50,000 people that all performed this one action. Go find me mm -hmm. a million people that look just like them. Wow. And then now so we I run ads to that audience yeah. And that's where we really crush it. So I should ask my title person to uh, give me a list oh. of buyers in whatever area in Williamson County. Yes. The, oh my gosh. I would. Yes. Years? What's that? Okay. In the last several years. Yeah. Like in the last, like get, get a bunch of different lists, get a list of those who bought in the last 12 months, those who bought in the last three years, those who bought in the last five years, see if you can get a few lists like that. All right, I'll ask her. What I'll do they have? List of they have. Do it, Brittany. will do it for me. 
Yes, yes. And if she needs a few bucks, give her a few bucks. You need it. She needs a Starbucks coffee gift card. Send her a gift card. You know what I mean? Whatever, like whatever you got to do, because that 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 could be powerful. And don't don't mark my words, but mark my words. This is how you scale it. This how people. This how businesses scale on Facebook. It's lookalike audiences, and a lookalike mm-hmm. audience is based on a previous audience that have done that has done a specific action. Okay. So and and normally it happens around people who purchase or people who just opt in, which is what we call a lead. So if I was mm-hmm. if I if I had a website and I was selling red handbags. And, and I got a hundred people to buy my red handbag. They click, mm-hmm. they put their credit card, they click on buy now. It takes them to a thank you for purchasing page. Right? Just like right. you know, opt into your seller guide opt-in page. I go to your thank you page. It's Christine on video. That's your thank you page. Same when we buy stuff online. I buy the red handbag. I put my credit card. I go to the thank you for purchasing page. That mm-hmm. thank you for purchasing page. That's my custom audience of people who bought my red handbag. I could take that custom audience, create a lookalike audience, and now Facebook will find me millions of people that are likely to buy a red handbag. Okay. Crazy. We like crazy. Also, I'm also going to check this Remind thing we have on um, on our MLS and see what if they give you um, email addresses. Don't, don't buy want, any. Right? Like, don't no, buy any. I, I wouldn't recommend buying a list like you could, but then again, you don't have to buy it. You don't have to buy it on Facebook on uh, our MLS. Okay. Well, per- perfect. If you, if you can get any list like that, any list like that. So, so let's go back to what we were trying to do here. Go to KV, KV core real quick. There should be a way where you can export that list. All we're looking to do is export it to a CSV file or a text file. And you'll have that option. You should see that option, but I just don't know how to export it from here. There, there has to be a way to export it. You can do that in in most um, CRMs. Yeah, we can, some, but some a lot of them were leads from um, Redfin. Yeah, what whatever. I mean, especially especially ones that you sold to, like actual clients. Um, mm-hmm. Again, creating. Again, if you had if you had over a hundred people on that list, you take that list. We export it out of out of kv core it's still there it's still there you just you know create a copy you just I figure just, out how to do it yeah just export you know a copy and then and then we take that we take that that excel spreadsheet and we yeah we upload it to facebook and create a custom audience and mm-hmm. and, and now that needs to be an audience a custom audience that you exclude from seeing future ads but 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 that's also the audience that you use to create a lookalike so mm-hmm. if you have an email list of a couple hundred past clients, that would be powerful. I, I don't have a couple hundred because a lot of my client, most of my clients were up in Dallas, Fort Worth. Okay. Okay. So, so then, so then, yeah, I mean, that's something we need to play around with for sure. If you can, if you can get okay. a list. I'll check with Brittany and see if she can get me a list. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll sure. look, look on that remind. Okay. So Let's. I'll check. You should check, check the box, like to the left, like the very, very top, right where it says name. Yeah. That way all of them check. And then right where it says more actions, click on that to the, in the middle, more actions. See if that says anything. Um, Yeah. See, so transfer contacts, share contacts, export contacts. So go to, yeah. Yeah. So let's export and I'll, you can do, we won't run the ad right now, but I'm going to show you, I'm going to take the whole setup. Email it to me. Okay. Yeah, email it to you. So go ahead and hit the green one. Okay, cool. So your export has been queued. Within a few minutes, it will be sent. Okay, perfect. So let's um, let's give it a, a couple minutes and let's go check. I want to create an audience of this right now. But okay. but at the same time, these are all randoms, right? They're not all your clients, right? No, no. Some of them are, but not all of them. No, okay. there's a guy. Did you? I don't know if you saw the guy in here that he said his name was. The F word, you. Oh, okay, yeah. So <laughs> I don't. So then, I don't really want him as a client. Let, let's let's imagine this is a list of all clients. Okay. Uh huh. So let's approach it that way. There's a hundred and hundred and sixty nine leads. One hundred and sixty nine. So we're over one hundred, right? We're over one hundred right. for, for the lookalike audience. So let's let's use this as the example. Let's um see if you got that email. See a bunch of that are clients. Yeah, and then there's some that aren't. 
you should have a separate list though of all clients. I know, but I don't. I mean, this list, I should, I could, I could fix it as, um, I think former client or I have them as part of my sphere, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but okay. Like a lot of these people I've done business with this Don Appling. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. There's so, a bunch of people here that I've done business with segment always, always segment your email list for sure. Um, for these nice. reasons, because now we're going to take this list, upload it to Facebook and, and, and do some magic. So, but at the same time, yeah, we, we want them all to be one type of person, right? Either a client, either a prospect, whatever, like whatever, but no, no big deal. Do that in the future. But let's, let's look at this list as if they were all clients. Did you, um, did you get the email yet or no? Oh, I just heard something. Let me look. Okay. Yeah. See if that file came through. It should have, it's not a big file. Come through. Let's see. Okay. So all you're going to do is, yeah, you can download, the, download the export at, yeah, perfect. So click there. And then now just open it up on the bottom left and then and then it should already be an Excel spreadsheet. Yeah, it's a CSV file. CSV file. Yeah, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna name that file real quick. Let's just open it real quick. Um, what happened to it now? Warren? Where'd it go? There we go, okay. You gotta click the bottom left. There it is. Okay, perfect. Cancel out of this one. Get rid of this little window. Cancel. Yeah. Okay, cool. So this is, did it open up multiple times? Yeah, close out a few of them. I think it opened up. Yeah, um, it was given Okay, cool. Trouble. So imagine this right. is all a list of leads or all a list of clients, right? Or or or, or customers. Yeah. All, you Some want it to be all. An email. Yeah. Some people only have text yeah and that, that's why the the minimum is a hundred records a hundred leads a hundred people a hundred you know names and a hundred names that's the minimum mm -hmm. but you really want to you really want a few hundred for those reasons because yeah maybe some the email isn't the one on facebook maybe some is missing the email right so you always have a handful of yeah, some aren't on Facebook. Yeah, some are not on Facebook. So you'll always want a few hundred, not necessarily a few thousand. If you had a few thousand, that's even better. That's why if a title company can give you a list, they got to have thousands. So it's like, wow. man, like that would be even better. But um, in your case, so when all the manual ads, those are all people I know or I have done business with. The other ones, the Redfin and Property Boost, those were just leads from those Property yeah, Boost. Yeah. From Facebook ads that I, yeah. I ran. Yeah, for okay. sure. So in the future, just segment those a little better. Just make sure that those are one one type of person. For again, for these reasons, because now we're going to be able to leverage it. We're going to be able to upload it to Facebook. So so now we have it here. So let's go to Facebook real quick. Let me just show you how to do this, so you so you know how to do it. Um, and then you could just always Wait, do this more in the future. The heck, where the heck is? Hold on. Okay. Okay. So. Now, right here, all we're going to do is go to the blue button again and then custom audience. And we're going to simply upload that list. And that's going to be customer list. So these are all the different sections that you can create a custom audience around. Um, the most popular is website and video. But in this case, when you actually have lists, not everyone has email lists, which is crazy. You would think, you know, people do businesses, but not everyone does. Not everyone does. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. you, you definitely want to make sure you're, you're getting everyone's email. Um, for, for this specific reason. So over here, all we're going to do, this is just like a, like a little how to prepare your customer list. So we already have it in a file, so we're good. So just click on next. So here, just click the blue one next. And then over here, does your list include a column for customer value? You could put no. So just put no there. That's totally fine. And then um, scroll down. And then by checking the box, you see right there at the bottom. And then you can hit next. And then over here, we're going to simply upload the file. So click that, look for that CSV file. I guess it's this. Yeah, I think those are both the same. Yeah, perfect. So that's, we just need that one. Perfect. And then right here, audience, audience um, name to the left. So go ahead and see if you can change that. Can you change that? Yeah, name it something. So just name it, name it anything random. Like we're just doing this for a practice. Um, Oh, KB Core. KB Core. Perfect. 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 And then hit next. Okay. So here's, here's what we're doing. 
I'm going to show you. And then right here, yeah, email, phone number, zip code, that's fine. Import and create the blue button. Okay, so what we're doing with this is we're creating a custom audience. Right away, because we have more than 100 records on this in this audience, right? Because we have more than 100, the magic minimum number is 100, 100. Because we have over 100 on this one, we're going to go straight into create a lookalike. Oh, we're create a lookalike audience. Okay. So now we already got it, gave it the name KB Core, the select audience location. Click inside that, and that's where you can you can um, you can type in either the country or even even just see if you could type in just the city. Pretty sure you could type in just the city. See if you can type in just the city. I think it might just be. I think I think it might be. See if you could type in the state. You instead of Austin, type in the state. Type in Texas. Yeah. See if you could type in Texas. Okay, so then it might just be, see if you can go to regions and see if, yeah, it, it wouldn't be countries, you're, you're already in um, the United States, just I guess, go, go, yeah, put United States, but I want to know if you can go, if click on region, click on, um, hit the drop down, go to regions and see if um, free trade, yeah, see none of those apply, so that's fine. Okay, so on, so on, on the countries, just put this, click on countries and just put us that's totally fine i don't even see us do you um yes, north america yeah north america and then i come United to United states US. perfect okay cool so then okay so you can x out of that and then all you're going to do is just you can leave it you can leave it at one percent zero to one percent so audience size ranges from one to 10% of the combined population of your selected locations. So a 1% lookalike consists of the people most similar to your lookalike source. So increasing the percentage creates a bigger, broader audience. So we don't want to increase it. We want it as, as, as small as possible, zero to 1%. So that's exactly what it is. It's, 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 it's people most similar to your custom audience. Um, yeah. You don't think I have to hit this get started button? Go ahead and click on it, but it, I don't think it's going to do anything. No, I can't even get That's it. That's fine. Okay. So just, um, just go ahead and just put back in the United States and then just click create audience. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just still, oh, okay. Okay. Cool. And it's fine since most of those people are probably from Texas. Yeah. So that's why like the list, yeah, having one type of person on that list is so important because yeah, it's gonna create that, that it's gonna look for that type of a person. Mm -hmm. So again, people that purchased in the, in the last few years or last few months or last year or whatever, that's a certain mm -hmm. type of person. It's a certain type of person, same buying patterns, same, that person has been searching online for homes just like the other person has been searching online uh -huh. for homes, right? Facebook has all this data. Right. So and some again, of them who are searching online for homes may have one to sell. Oh heck yeah, heck yeah! So yeah. much more can come out of the deal for sure. But what I'm just trying to trying to really explain is 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 this is not hard. Like this is not this is not hard. It's not hard to really look at how this data is. I got one person. I'm telling Facebook find me another one that, that resembles this based on that's data points. Right? Like it's crazy. Like it's absolutely crazy. It blows my wow. mind. Wow. Yeah. yeah so, so, so get, get, try to see if you can get your hands on, on, on some list and let's play around with that. Let's test. I will. I will. Look like I'll audiences. I'll go have coffee with Brittany and ask her yeah. to see what they could do. And, and tell me. them exactly what you're doing. You tell, say, I'm running Facebook ads. I have a Facebook ad coach and we're putting together oh. lookalike audiences and targeting people online who fit this type of criteria, who resemble this type of a person. So if you have a list of, of buyers, like that's a type of person I could tell Facebook to go and find me and I can go run ads and, and find more. Right. You know? And there's one, and there's another title lady who's been trying to get me to go have coffee with her. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. no idea for me. She's trying to get me to use their title company. See, these are people you need to be partnering with that need to be funding your advertising budget. Your your yeah. title rep, your your escrow officer, your your lender. Those okay. three need to be paying for these ads. 
And they for sure would. They, I would like what I, I did. Like that's what I did. Like what well, was one strategy? You know, I I would have. I have a lenser I use. Pretty, yeah, I have a lenser I use pretty exclusively oh too. Oh my gosh, you need to. He, he, why would he not come out of the pocket for you? Yeah. You know, so you think why is this on here twice? Should I get rid of this one? No, 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 no. Good question. Yeah. Very good question. Very good question. One is the custom audience. The other one is the clone. So the other one is what? Is is the clone? Is the lookalike? Oh, okay. Gotcha. Right. So the custom audience, and this is the lookalike audience. Yes. Okay. So so now, as we go and run our next ad, watch. Go to hit the dots in the top left. Go to Ads Manager, and just click just click the green button. So now, as we go and run an ad, and to that, we'll either run conversions or we'll run traffic. Those are two different ads you can test. A traffic, a conversion. Set both of them up at the same time. Let them both run for four days. Look at the numbers and see which one performs. Conversions or traffic to a lookalike. That wow, that, that traffic one, 178 compared to the others. That's why that something something doesn't make sense. Something doesn't work with that ad, I'm telling you. But it's every other time. ad. I've seen time. it. No, no. Here's the here's the reason. Here's the reason. Because the audience we retargeted, the audience wasn't that big. Oh, uh, okay. It was only the audience we retargeted. Okay. The, that's why. The, that's why all this consistency is what the name of the game is. Because we have to keep building these audiences. We want to keep building these audiences. Okay. Because, we, because retargeting a, an audience after just one ad that you ran to them, that ad, that audience can't be that big, right? So that's. Mm -hmm experience with this one that that audience wasn't that big like a couple thousand people it's not that big like you know compared to freaking the billions that are here like it's not that big so that's why those numbers are that um mm. so when we run our next conversion ad then our numbers will be back into the 1600 2000 because now we're running a conversions ad not retargeting a previous audience right we're running mm. it to a new audience in that area that's right. why our numbers are, are going to be bigger. So it's, it's conversions. We need to focus on, on conversion ads right now. Um, and in this case, in this case, watch. So now click the green button and let's just say, let's just say we're going conversions. Let's say we're going conversions and um, go ahead and click on conversions and just go through the setup and let's get to, you can just hit continue. Yeah. Hit continue. And then over here, because you know, your real estate. Special I don't have an ad. Do I? What's that? I don't think I have an ad ready. No, 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 we're not running. I'm just showing you how to how to, how to run it. So right. now now we're right here on the first step, the, the campaign tab. Now with yep. you, always housing, right? Hit the drop down. You're always going with housing um, in the special ad category. And then below, always make sure that the that the campaign budget this? optimization. Yep, you're good. Go down. But I don't have to change this from two. No, no, from no, you're good. This is just an example. You're good. Housing is all we need. So all right here, always make sure it's off, right? Campaign budget optimization, and then next. That's it, that's step one, that's campaign. That's the first tab. Over here- But I was putting a name in that, and instead of new campaign, oh, if yeah, I was- Oh yeah, name it for sure, for sure. I this too, if I was yep, really- You're gonna name that, yep, for sure. So over here is where you choose that audience. So now over here on, this, on the ad set level, scroll down, we'll scroll down. So now all we're doing is we're going Custom audience right there. Click that box, custom audience. Nope, not that one. Right there. Click inside the box. No, yeah. no. right where it says search oh. existing audiences. So right there, now you'll see your lookalike audience. So if you click on, click on custom audiences. Okay, so maybe it hasn't populated. Yeah. I only see core. Yeah, it might not have populated just yet. It might still be populating. Normally, you'll see it right away. Normally, you'll see it right away. Um, Should I see this? Ad. Yeah, click on that one. Special ad. Okay, so it's, it'd be under custom audience. It actually would look. It actually would say look like audiences. Um, yeah. Yeah. Normally. Saying. Yeah, that, that, okay. And then choose the event. So the conversion event, we'll go with that one. So click inside there and you're go always going with your seller guide leads. That's the conversion event. And then, um, and then scroll down and then right here inside the audience. So scroll down, you can go click inside there and then you'll see maybe, 
Yeah, maybe it's maybe it just hasn't populated yet. But you, right here, you would see your lookalike audience. It would be mm -hmm. in the drop down. It'd be in the drop down, and you would see it right here, and that's, that's who you're targeting. We, we definitely did it. Yeah, yeah. So you'll see it there. You'll see it there. You'll see it there. But um, normally it shows up right away, and in this case, it's it it's it's it hasn't shown up yet. But you'll see it there. It, lookalike audience will be there. Um, okay. And then all you're doing is scrolling down and, and, and choosing the location, updating the, the, the calendar and, and, and putting in Austin. I mean, not the calendar, but the map. So scroll up. Oh, right here. Yeah, so United. The, the United States, you would just, that's what you would change. So you would change that Austin to the location you're targeting, your 15 mile radius and, and people living in, and then that's it. So- And then I have to type something in here, right? Yes. Well, yet you would X that out, X that out and type in your, your location, your, your area. And so that's how you, that's how you create a custom audience around a customer list and, and turn it into a lookalike audience. And then as you come over here and set up this next ad, you're targeting the lookalike audience. And you'll see that in the custom audience field right there at the top. So for some reason, okay. it's not showing right now, but maybe because the audience isn't 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 that big, but but it should it should have been big enough to 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 at least be showing. But still in Facebook, we didn't get out and come back in, or something. I don't know. Yeah, no, that's fine. This is just the basic setup. But but X out of this in the top left, and then just go click on your your um, dots to the left. Yeah, click on close. Yeah, or X out. That's fine. And then um, hit your 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 it. Yeah, hit I need to. These you know, don't. to the very, very right, discard drafts. Hit that real quick. Uh, where? Very, very right. Yeah, top right, discard drafts next to the blue button. Yeah, right there. Click on that okay. and, then, and then discard all these. Okay. Okay, perfect. Cool. Okay, right. so click on the dots in the top left and then go to audiences. And let's just double check that lookalike. But it's it's there. It just for some reason it's not showing up in the. In the drop -down. I know. I saw it. It might be because it's too small, but I don't think I don't think that's why. It still should show, should show up in the drop down. Yeah, it's there it is. Right there. It's, it's it. below one thousand. Um, okay, so then here's the reason. This KB Core one, it's populating. It's populating. So it's not available. So it's not available. That's why that's why the oh, like audience populated. isn't showing. It's still populating. Mm -hmm. Do I have to, it to yeah, do it, that? Yeah. It, no, it, it's dynamic. So you can work on it. You can work and go and continue as it populates. But in this case, it's just saying straight up not available. So <clears throat> we got to give that a little bit of time. And then the lookalike audience will then show. Okay. Because there's no lookalike off of a not available custom audience, which is KB Core, you know? So <clears throat> once that KB Core audience shows available or once it shows below 1,000, if it shows below 1,000, that's that's still fine. And that's what that should turn into. So the not available should turn into below 1,000. And then and where, then do now, you, where do you see not available? Right there. I know it says populating. No, below, not available. Oh, this one. Yeah, this one says, but this one doesn't. Yeah, okay. But we're looking at, yeah, but the, the lookalike is off of the KB core. The lookalike is off of the custom audience. So it's not available because it's populating, right? Yeah. So therefore the lookalike is not available. Gotcha. So okay, gotcha. that's why you don't see it in the drop down. So give that a little bit of time, not days, give it like a little, literally like maybe a couple hours and then it should be below 1000 and then, and then the lookalike will be available. Okay. At least you know how to set it up. So list, email list. That's the whole purpose of this entire video is email list is, is, is powerful because, because you can create custom audiences. All right. Well, I got to get more lists then. Okay. Sounds good.